Welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be reading Pokey and Friends Lucky Ducks. It was a beautiful spring day and the saggy baggy elephant was feeling very happy. He was on his way to his favorite lagoon, humming to himself and dancing when he went. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. At the same time that Saggy was dancing down a path, a mother duck and her three ducklings were also out for a walk nearby. Now please pay attention, the mother duck said to her children, Tom, Dickie, and Harriet. There's quite a long, there's quite a long to see in this big wide world, and you don't want to miss any of it. But instead of listening, the ducklings were watching a big blue dragonfly with shiny wings darting here and there. When it flew off into the jungle, the three of them hurried after it. And be careful, their mother continued not to get lost, but it was too late. Where's our mama? asked Harriet when the ducklings, when the ducklings had tired of chasing the dragonfly. Mama, Diggy called, looking around. Their mother didn't answer. Suddenly, a gra the ground began to shake. The flowers around the lagoon began to bob their heads up and down, and the palm trees began to sway. What's that? Tom asked fearfully. What do we do now? Hide, Harriet answered. She hurried into the bushes with her brothers right behind her. But it was only Saggy arriving at the lagoon. Everything in the jungle always shook when he danced. Saggy sat down on a large rock. Mm, he said, Dancing can be very tiring. I think I'll rest my feet. Suddenly, he heard a small voice. Excuse me, the voice said. Oh, Saggy cried in fright, climbing straight up the nearest tree. Who said that? I did down here, Mr. Harrier replied. She and her brothers waved up at Saggy. Saggy quickly slid down the tree. Who are you? He asked. The ducklings introduced themselves. We're lost, Harriet added. Will you be our mother until she finds us? Tom asked Saggy. I'm not a duck, Saggy replied. I'm just a saggy baggy elephant. But I suppose I could for a little while. Oh, thank you. Hooray, the ducklings cheered. What does a duck mother do? Saggy wondered. What does your mother do? Dickie asked him. Well, Saggy said, she teaches me how to be an elephant. So you can do that for us, Tom suggested. Teach you how to be an elephant? Saggy asked in surprise. No, teach us to be ducks, Tom explained. Okay, Saggy said slowly, I think I can do that. For your first lesson, Saggy sat the ducklings in a cozy circle. Here we go, he began. When you quack, I think this is how you do it. Take a big breath like this and let it out like this. Saggy took a huge breath, but it certainly didn't sound like a duck's quack. The leaves rattled on the trees and the ducklings' feathers fluttered in the breeze. Harriet, Dickie, and Tom giggled. Now you try it, Saggy instructed. So the three ducklings breathed in and breathed out, just the way Saggy had shown them. Their quacks sounded just like baby elephants trumpeting. Not too bad, Saggy said. The ducklings giggled some more. Next, Saggy decided to teach the ducklings how to fly. It's really quite simple, he told them. First, you start running like this. Saggy began to run. The ground trembled. Then you flap your wings really hard like this. He continued furiously flapping his arms up and down. Then you leap into the air, he yelled, jumping. Okay, now we'll try it, Harriet said as the ducklings prepared for takeoff. Up, up they went, and down, down they came, crash, right into Saggy's lap. Well, I think we've perfected the landing, Saggy said, smiling at the ducklings. After that, Saggy wanted to teach his little friend how to swim. All right, he said, swimming is easy. All you do is jump into the water, then float to the surface like this. Wasn't he supposed to float to the surface? Harriet asked her brothers after a few minutes. 
You see, Saggy said when he finally came out of the water, it's easy. Now you try it. So one by one, the ducklings jumped into the water. But when they came to the surface, standing on each other's shoulders, Saggy sighed. I guess I haven't done a very good job of teaching you how to be ducks, he said sadly. It's all right, Saggy, Harriet comforted him. We're keeping us safe and happy like any mama would. Just then they heard the sound of footsteps rushing through the grass. My little ducklings, the mother duck called as she waddled into the clearing. I found you at last. Mama, cried Tom, Dickie, and Harriet, running toward her. Thank you so much for taking care of my children, the mother duck said to Saggy. I'm afraid I didn't teach them how to be very good ducks, Saggy apologized to her. What's important is that they're safe, she replied, and I'm sure you did your best. Besides, Harriet added, I already know how to quack. She gave two short quacks to show Saggy was true. Watch me fly, cried Tom, circling around Saggy's head. Watch me swim, Dickie shouted, paddling quickly across the water. Why didn't you tell me, Saggy asked in amazement as he watched the ducklings. You never asked us, Harriet answered. Besides, it was lots of fun seeing you try to be a saggy baggy duck. The end. Thank you guys for watching our channel. Hope you guys enjoyed Pokey and Friends, Lucky Ducks. Stay tuned for more book reads. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and stay tuned. We're always making new book reads quite frequently. Take care. Stay safe. God bless. Take care, guys.